this video will consider the calculations of mean and mean deviation of ungrouped data. Mean is simply the average of numbers, while mean deviation is simply how far away each number is away from the mean. Also, the percentage of each distance can also be calculated. To understand mean deviation, consider this question. These are the grades of seven students in a biology class after an exam. Calculate for the mean and mean deviation. This question can also be structured like this or like this. The first thing to consider is for mean deviation, rearranging or ordering the numbers might not be necessary because your aim is not to calculate for the median or to group the data. However, to find the mean deviation, you will need to calculate for the mean first. Step number one, find the mean of the scores. The mean is denoted by X bar or by the Greek word mu, which simply means summation of all the sample data over the size of the sample. If you sum all the scores on the table, you have 5, 5, 0. Divide by the number of students in the class, which is the size of the sample data, and is 7. And we got 78.57. This is the mean. Step number 2 find the mean deviation mean deviation is denoted with delta the first step towards finding mean deviation is to draw a table like this however in step two the names of the students can be omitted during the analysis the mean obtained was 78.57 hence each row we have 78.57 which is the mean next the mean will be subtracted from each score next compute for each row after completing the mean minus each score which we have done here next is you consider the absolute value of each of your results if you decide to do the score minus the mean you will still get the same answer because absolute value rejects negative hence it's going to take away all the negative from each answer next sum each of the absolute values that you have taken away the negatives from and the sum is 29.43 Step number three, find the mean deviation. The mean deviation is the summation of the absolute value of the mean minus the score divided by the size of the sample. This can also be used if you use mu instead of x bar. Also, if you had used the score minus the mean, then this will be fine or if you have used the score minus the mean when you have not used x bar this will also be fine however for this question we are using this because that was what we used from this table hence our mean deviation becomes 29.43 divided by the size of the class our mean deviation becomes 4.20 mean deviation signals how far away each considered number is from the average the variance and standard deviation does the same but using different formulas what have we calculated the mean was obtained to be 78 point five seven let's assume that seventy eight point five seven is here while the distance from the mean 
to the next point is 4.20. The next distance is going to be 8.4, while the next distance is going to be 12.6. The next distance is going to be 16.8. Try out this question and this. Leave your answers in the comment section. This is statistics. To locate other videos in this channel, follow the link on the screen. The next video is on variance and standard deviation of an ungrouped data. I will see you in the next video.